Hello humans, Master Nerplex here. And today I'm going to go over the rank three engines. Yay! And I'm going to kind of rate them and explain the difference between all of them. Now for the list, I've narrowed it down to strictly level three monsters that get another level three monster out of the deck for a rank three monster. They don't have to exclusively uh, use them for a rank three, but their most common use is. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, and then I'm going to rank them. So, first and foremost, uh, Speedroid Terratop, the Speedroid engine. So I'm going to have these in scales. So when it comes to power, these are about the same. Um, all of these are about the same. They all do the same thing, and that's make a rank 3 monster. The speed of this card? This card has speed in its name, but it's actually an extremely fast card because it does not dedicate your normal summon, but you can still normal summon it and use it if you already have a monster on the field. And then, uh, reusability? It's actually, even though you only have one Terror Top, and Terror Top is almost worthless alone, it actually has reusability because it is a, uh, there are car it's called Speed Recovery, and Speed Recovery, uh, while it's in the graveyard next turn, you can recover a Tactenborg, making another Terror Top draw powerful. Not to mention, uh, this was actually used in Burning Abyss sometimes as a real strategy because the Speedroids were so powerful in that deck. This, uh, and then replayability of the engine. Can you use it more than once? Yes. Mm, just not too much. And you kind of got to run more than a handful of cards to do it. But when you're looking at it exclusively, um... Another thing I'm going to rank these by is, uh, what can it exclusively make? Well, it can actually make Totem Bird without a normal summon, and that's actually pretty nice, because Totem Bird is a spell trap negator. Um, so that's cool. And when you're looking at this, it's like, this is, this is, I'm going to rank this, and I'm going to fight to say this is the most powerful rank 3 engine of all time. Now you might be asking why not Phantom Knights and Burning Abyss and stuff like that because they're a rank 3 deck and an engine can go in other decks but you can't really play a bunch of Burning Abyss in a random deck without it swinging to Burning Abyss. Um, so next we got an oldie but goldie uh, tour guide from the underworld. This one it, so it's more fragile. It's fra much more fragile than a, a Speedroid Terror Top and slower because... So if Speedroid Terror Top's effects get negated for any reason, uh, there's nothing. You didn't even dedicate your normal summon. You can just continue with whatever you're doing. Tour Guide's not like that. There were plenty of formats where she got Valored and that was it. You ended your turn and hopefully didn't die. Um... However, Tour Guide, when looking at this, every single part of her engine is a usable card. So when Tour Guide had the one Songin was at three, you could play Songin, and Songin, Songin could just search a Tour Guide if you only drew the Songin. When it was Night Assailant, it was a Maneater bug in a very slow format uh, back in 2014, and you could still just normal get it out of the deck. Skarm Search Tour Guide. Um, it also allowed it to where if you just made an XZ, you can detach Skarm and get a, another Tour Guide play next turn. Um, so in that aspect, this is the most uh, double-sided... Let me rephrase that. It's the, mo it's the engine that from front to back it works. And this is probably the only one that does that. Um... So that's why it's his most second powerful. Not to mention, it's extremely searchable and in the the most powerful type of all time. So that's interesting. Because think about this. If we get a dark link and for some reason tour guide goes to two, 
You can tour guide into Sangen, make Dark Link, search Max C. And that's it. That's uh, insane. Uh, yeah. And then you. Then we got the third one. Predaplant Scorpio is the most fragile. And, um, in and of itself, it has no replayability because the other part can only be used once per duel, even if you get it back in the deck. The engine is, not only is it fragile that way, but if you actually draw this card, your engine is worthless. Um, so it's just a level 3 dark plant with no value. And then if its effects get negated, it's going to be just something like Ash Blossom, and you had to discard a card to get it. However, when you're looking at its power, it grabs a fusion or polymerization spell card from your deck to your hand, and that's a ridiculously powerful pool for cards like Brilliant Fusion, Instant Fusion, uh, and other stupid cards like that. But when you're looking at this, this engine is, it's also got quite a bit of fair consistency because since it's a plant, you could just loan Fire Blossom. Uh, so you can actually just get to this fairly quickly. But when you're looking at it, this engine is incredibly fragile, uh, not replayable, and uh, it's extremely dangerous to uh, use going in blind. And that's an unfortunate thing. This is why I rank this one third, that one second, of course. And then we got the fourth one. So in a vacuum, this one's good. So when this card is normal summoned, while you control no other monsters, you can special summon a level 3 or lower galaxy effect monster from your deck, but its effects are negated. It's less restrictive than Tour Guide, because you can use it for a synchro, but not much to gain from that. But... Um... While you control no other monsters is the real kicker. Um, it means the power of this card, you don't even get to play it many situations unless you're playing like a stun deck that's like with Thunderbirds, Doom Cows, and Thunder Kings. It's like, this is really hard to use. Um, it does support a specific archetype called Digibugs, but that's not that great. And this card didn't help them that much. But when you're looking at it like this, this is actually extremely replayable. Uh, the fourth link, the fourth part of the engine, doesn't even need to be in here. It just can. Um, and each part of the engine works. So that's what I like about this. Um, it's also the only engine, rank 3 engine left, that it can be used more than once a duel and it's consistent because their main core isn't at one so that's interesting it also is in the second best attribute in the game light so if we get the light link this one can instantly make it uh the fourth part of the engine is actually not a necessity but if you're going to play it understand it's worthless this card is worthless um the only other thing Galaxy Worm can summon is a level 1, but that doesn't make a rank 3. It's like Galaxy whatever or something. But, yeah, so I rank this one 4th. It's not powerful enough, and it's not cons it's it's not powerful enough. But, when you're looking at it from consistency, it really does just outclass this. Because, uh, this is a pure glass cannon. You only... Gave up your normal summon if uh, this was stopped. But if this was stopped, you lost a card out of your hand. You increase the chance of drawing this and losing. Um, this card isn't this card isn't worthless if you draw this and or that I should say. So in that aspect, it's actually a lot more consistent, and it makes it a lot more playable. However, you need to control no monsters other than itself. So. These are pretty close, but I'm going to give this one more powerful just because of all the cards it can search. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinnerflax will take your soul.